Hey, I'm back. We're going to talk about the Dawn phenomenon, okay, or the Dawn effect, okay? This is a situation where you have a spike in blood sugars between like 4 a.m., sometimes it's a little earlier, to 8 a.m. in the morning, so the blood sugars spike. So here you go to bed and you're supposed to be fasting all night, right? And you got this spike of blood sugars. So let's talk about what can cause this, okay? So when you go to bed at night, okay, you're gonna go for the next seven or eight hours without eating. So let's discuss what can happen. So here you are, you go to bed, okay? So you're supposed to go from all night long without eating, that you're gonna fast all night long, right? So the blood sugars should come down because you're not eating, but they go up. And here's what happens. There's a certain mechanism that happens when your blood sugar goes a little too low, there's a counter effect from a couple other hormones, epinephrine and cortisol, these are from the adrenals, and growth hormone and another hormone called glucagon that originates from the pancreas. So all of these hormones actually cause a rebound effect and release sugar or stored sugar from the liver. So they create a, a liver dump of the release of glycogen, which is stored sugar, um, and that's really what's spiking this. It's a counter hormonal effect that is causing these hormones to dump stored sugar from the liver. So if you, tr if you research this, <laughs> there's not a lot of people that know anything about it. They'll say, well, don't eat before you go to bed. Some people will say, well, eat some carbs before you go to bed or don't snack for carbs or don't snack on carbs late night. There's all these different things that people are saying. Well, here's what I'm gonna recommend, which will bypass and fix the whole problem. Realize that you're not in ketosis. You are running your body on glucose. You're not running your body on ketones, which is a better fuel source. If you run your body on ketones by going through the keto adaptation phase, by cutting your carbs down, you're not gonna have this effect anymore, okay? You won't have the highs and lows, the issues that you have with blood sugar problems. Now, if you're a diabetic, type one or type two, I still suggest you do keto and intermittent fasting because those two powerful tools can help minimize this effect right here. And I know diabetics who do ketosis and intermittent fasting, and this thing clears up. However, a certain percentage of the population still have an issue, in which case you're gonna support the adrenal glands, okay? And I'm gonna put a link down below of how to do that, or the liver, okay? But that's actually rare. But if it does happen, then you're just gonna support either the adrenal or the liver and fully resolve this issue. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? I just wanted to say thank you for watching these videos. You made it this far. I appreciate your attention and your precious time.